All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, Freddy was going to do the uh, player ratings video, but unfortunately, he got stuck in traffic. He's been out, so I'm not going to say anything else because it's not really in any of my business. But player ratings for today's 5-2 loss against Everton. We'll start off in goal, Sam Johnston. Now, although we did concede five goals, I don't think um, any of them are really his fault. I think we were cut open when Kieran Gibbs got sent off. So I'm going to give him a, a standard five. Darnell Furlong, again, I'm going to give him a five out of ten. I do think defensively we were poor today. Um, you know, a lot of the goals were conceded by set pieces. So any player who really gets above a five is quite lucky, really. Um, Samir Jai, I'm going to give him a five as well. No reason, just that the defence was poor. Kyle Bartley, five, um, like I've just previously mentioned, you know, the whole defence was poor. Dara Roche, I'm going to give him a six, actually, because you could see that he was he was actually trying, although, like I say, the defence was very, very poor. You could see that he was one of the few defenders who were trying. Um, Kieran Gibbs, now, for me, I do believe Kieran Gibbs had a massive impact on uh, the game. He's sending off as very stupid. I think it was stupid if you put your hands on any other player in the Premier League in the face, well, in any league, you're going to get sent off. So it was a bit stupid in my opinion, so I'm going to give him a, a free. Uh, then we move on to the midfield, Mateus Pereira, unbelievable free kick. Uh, got an assist as well for Dian Garner's goal. I'm going to give him a 8 out of 10 because you can still see the effort from Pereira, I thought he was excellent today and probably my man of the match. Now we go into Jake Livermore. He hit the post, but you know the midfield was just too strong for us today. Everton's midfield, it was way too strong for us. And I think Livermore and Sawyers really struggled. I'm going to give Sawyers, uh, Livermore a five. Remain Sawyers. Now I've been saying for weeks that he should be dropped and I still believe he should be dropped. I think Samfield should be given a chance ahead of him. I think he's been far too lacklustre and far too lazy, in my opinion, in the past couple of games. And I don't think he's done very well. Um, he was probably one of the worst players on the pitch today. You know, he got took off in the 75th minute. You know, he didn't have an impact in the game. He didn't really do anything. Four out of ten for me. I thought he was really poor. Now, Grady Dian Barner, uh, like Pereira, his first Premier League goal of the season, which is... Good to see. I thought he did okay, to be honest with you. I thought him and um, Pereira were the only players who were really making an impact in the game. Um, I thought Dian Garner's finish was a very good finish. And hopefully we can see more of that um, in the coming weeks from him. So I'm going to give Dian Garner a, a 7. Because I do believe that, obviously, with Pereira getting a goal and an assist, it boosts him up an extra point. Guys, I'm literally just going to slot this in the video because I actually forgot to do Callum Robinson. Now, I'm going to give Robinson a 5 out of 10. I don't think he had much of an impact on today's game. I don't believe that he's the number 9. I don't. I just don't believe he's a natural goal scorer and that's why we need another striker. But Callum Robinson, I'll give a 5 out of 10. Substitutions, Matt Phillips. Didn't even notice him, if I'm being completely honest. I think it was too late by then. I think it's unfair to judge a player um, when they come on and you're down to 10 men. So I'm just going to give him a standard 5 out of 10. Kyle Edwards, 5 out of 10 again. I didn't really see too much of him. Um, he did well in that game against Harrogate in the week. Um, and it was unfortunate that he didn't start, in my opinion, because he did do really well. 5 out of 10 for me. Um, Sam Field... I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 because I did actually notice him when he came on. I thought he was brilliant in the cup. I think he deserves a start, like I just said, uh, ahead of Romain Sawyers, who has been really poor. Um, so I'm going to give Samfield a 6 out of 10. You know, it was really hard to, you know, give any of the defenders, apart from Dara Roche, above a 5, in my opinion. Um, because I thought the defending and for the set pieces was absolutely awful. There was a lot of schoolboy errors made and... We need to improve massively on that. Now, in terms of Slavin Bilic, I'm going to give him... Well, it's a tough one, to be honest, because we did lose 5-2. I thought the team what we set up with was fine. I did believe it was fine, but um, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. 
just because we lost, um, not too much he could have done about that, other than maybe put Gallagher in, but I don't know whether Gallagher's fit or something like that. But referee, probably a 4 out of 10. You know, every time you get Mike Dean as the ref, yes, he did make a lot of decisions what were right, but I don't think Savan Bilic's um, sending off was right. And I, I do believe that he loves flashing his cards about Mike Dean, so... Give him a 4 out of 10. But guys, if you did enjoy the player ratings, let me know what yours, your player ratings are. And we'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.